so just these guys just you know, they practice that way. You know, that's pretty much how we teach it. You know, we got to do it by committee, and um, you know, it held firm tonight. Pretty good players, Karam, Malik, Karam. Coach just mentioned about all the close games you've had with all the different games you played. I think six games or six teams or less. What's going through your mind? Do you think back to those moments as the league's slipping away? What did he tell you during the huddle? What's kind of how are you processing it as it's getting close, but you guys didn't really panic per se? I'll take this one. Um, we didn't panic, like Coach said. We we've been in tough games before um, all year, and just preparation. Coach really has been big on that all year. Uh, always be prepared for anything. And I feel like that's what we did. Um, our guys strong, came together and um, really had confidence in each other. Duran, you're, you're stepping up to the free throw line and the place is rocking. And you got a couple of huge free throws that you have to hit. I guess just walk me through how you're feeling. Is it like uh, an empty gym in practice or are you like dog practice in the stage and your games? Uh, I'm just used to it. I'm always here to uh, close the games out for free throws. I did it most of the time. So it wasn't no pressure for me for it. So I just knew I just had to hit those and get the game over with. When you ice the second, <coughs> how good of a feeling is it just seeing it go from nylon? It is so good to be a state champ. <laughs> Karan, is this your season high today, 10? I'm not sure if it was. It's, it's probably up there, right? Mm -hmm. or, okay. How did it feel to give your team a lift before halftime and coming in and playing the role that you had for the team? Tell me about that. And did you know you'd have an increased role in this game? Um, no, the coach just told me, you know, play hard and do what I do best. Mm -hmm. so I just take my time and don't be lazy. As part of the second unit, do you all relish whenever it would be Abraham, Gavin, Malik, Duran, whoever comes out of the game, it's your time to step up, if you will? How do you guys approach that? Um, just try to play together, you know, on open man, take the shots that you would usually take, you know, to hit those shots. And we just try to stay together and play as a team. From Malik Duran, how was it chasing those three point shooters? Y'all did a really good job for about three and a half quarters, and then they got hot late. How was it like chasing these guys? Did they remind you of anybody you played all year, either in the PD or outside of it? Uh, they did. Yeah, it was very similar to uh, Verona. Okay. So, yeah. They, I mean, a lot of shots at the end, you know. You, Guys, work. But at some point we were right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like we were right there. And they face hands up. They just making shots. I mean, sometimes it's just if, if kids are making shots. I told the, the guys after the game. I said, look, y'all made play great deep like that at the end of the games that we won before. But those those games they, they were missing them shots. So now we went by ten. You see what I'm saying? Or we went by eight. Okay. But they were making shots. I mean, they just kept making contested shots. Um, you know, both of their guys showed up. You know. Uh, you know, I thought it was cute that, that the kid who wore 13 all year wound up with 32 on the night, you know. So, you know, I thought that was, you know, but we knew exactly who he was and he, and he did what he does. He had 28. And then, you know, you know the other kid, uh, TJ, he turned around and he had 21. He had a big second half. But, uh, you know, I just thought we we made the stops we needed to make we need to make them. And sometimes that's what it come down to. Um, you know, I thought when Teron was in foul trouble, I thought Cameron Jennerette came in and settled us down very well. I thought he really settled us down with our, with our starting backcourt out of the game for the rest of the second quarter. I thought he did a great job. Um, so, you know, we got to get hats off to him as well. Well, Link, you're new to Hampton High School this year. It's the last possession of the state championship. You're up three. What's going through your mind as you're defending that last play? You're probably hoping it's not going to be a foul call. What's going through that, that last play? Uh, really? Um, like everybody kept expressing to me, just make sure you don't foul. Um, but coming from my first year, coming in, uh, they kind of just welcomed me with warm arms and uh, just <coughs> leaved a lot of pressure off of me that I didn't have to prove anything to anybody and we should just play together as a team and see the results. We became our state champion. Is it fitting lastly that you did this with defense the way you guys won your last 15, 16 games and you had to kind of grind it out with defense in this one? Yeah. Uh, we really, that's where we take our pride on is defense, really. Uh, we, we can stop anybody we feel like, and uh, they came out, pass off to them again because uh, they made some tough shots. And uh, we just stayed true to ourselves and believe in each other and, and play great defense to the end.
Anything else? I got one more yep. for the players. Uh, knowing the history of basketball on the peninsula, how does it feel knowing that you're adding to that history? Uh, it feels very good. Uh, my uncle really won one as well, basketball. So it feels good to join that history with him. And uh, just a lot of greats that came through, all Americans and stuff like that. And um, we just showed our crowd pride. You guys good? All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.